Hey, you, what's up? Party people. No. Um, it is Saturday morning, and I'm about to work on another track for the demo song project thing. So today, I want to do something that I can use for delays, clean sounds, reverbs, which means something where we'll give the effect a lot of space. So it's not going to be guitar, 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 guitar. It's going to be guitar, space. So that you can hear the tail, the d delay, and actually what it sounds like. Which means a track that has a lot of space, but still works musically. Obviously, as always, uh, on the first two tracks, on this one as well, we'll do the track with lead guitars and an instrumental. But Adrian O'Shaughnessy is going to put his amazing voice on there and we'll have some singing so that you can actually hear what the stuff I test will sound like in a musical context. Now, um, the instrumental that we're going to work on now, uh, I'm doing for, as always, on the first two, uh, the synergy stuff. So in front of me, again, I have the Syn 5050 power amp. And this time, not the Syn 1, not... Not this thing with one module, where you just, you know, put that in, clickety-click, and this would be the 800 module from Synergy. Uh, no, where I, I actually uh, want to do, want to hit two birds with one stone. Because it's 11 modules, I can't do 11 tracks. It's just too much work. So uh, I have the Syn 2 in front of me, which houses two modules. And we're going to use two different kind of cleans in that track and I can use the same track for both reviews. So on the right side, I have the AC, which is a Morgan AC module based on the Morgan AC 20 amp, which should give us a voxy kind of British clean, two channels. So I think we should be able to get a nice crunchy sound out of that, uh, slightly overdriven. We'll see how far it goes with bright switches. So I'm gonna just shove that into channel 2 here and tighten the screws, okay, and in the first module slot, uh, I've never played this thing, don't even know what it does, I have the T Deluxe, so this is I think a tweet and a deluxe, Fender-ish type of sounds, and each channel has a three position B switch, we're gonna go with bright, and a three position T switch. I'm gonna go with, I have no idea. So this should, and two independent um, EQ sections. So this should give us sounds. I don't know what it does, we'll find out. Also, as always, I'm not prepared. I don't even know what we're doing. So you know you're gonna be here for a while. I hope this brand new camera that I got, it's going back on Monday because this is the wrong one. I'm getting one that's this much cheaper, but the same model with it, who cares? I'm hoping that um, it's actually doing my levels correctly. So I'm in here, I have to plug in the guitar, that helps. I have a pedal board on the floor, there's a compressor, there's a, a Kiddy Compressor Plus, and a Walrus Audio Warhorn, just in case I want that, but obviously we want to check out the amps. So how do I turn this on? There's several switches here, let me see. One is power, one is ground lift. Now, hmm, 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 the Sin 2 can be switched on in the back, but it's going to be in a rack. It's rack mounted, but the only on switch is in the back. Uh, I might potentially have to bitch about that a little bit. I know there's very little space on the front, but the power amp can be switched on in the front, the preamp can't. Obviously, you might have your whole rack on a mains, click that on, it all comes on. All good. Still. What is this? This is the sag, and that's the volume. Okay. And then we have a little channel thing on the front, and I can actually switch between all four channels and bypass. Um, for this project, I thought, just because, I'm going to use strats. One, two, three, four, five different ones. Because let's do a stratastic kind of thing. And that, of course, limits me also in terms of what kind of sounds I'm going to be getting. Uh, we're going to use this brilliant Schecter something, Nick Johnson's signature, to write the track. But obviously, in the actual video, 
I'll use more of them. And since it's going to be for delays, right here on the table, let me see here, uh, on, actually on the rack, I have the Strymon Dig, one of my favorite digital delays. And that's what I'm gonna use as the template for future videos for delays. But before we can do anything, brand new Cubase 9.5 just came out. I bought it and now we're gonna install it. You always have to have the newest chip. So just sit there and wait, I guess. Uh, so it looks like Cubase installed. Cool, we have 9.5. I just uh, turned the AC on. <laughs> this is okay, turn the AC on. Um, just to see what it sounds like, I'm on the blue channel. There's always a blue and a red channel. Of course, I want that a little bit. I want it clean. That sounds very lovely. So the red channel would be... See how, how evil I can make it bright off. That's what you expect a voxy thing to sound like. I'm good with that. Let's get some sag in here. Just the tiniest bit. Good, then we have that T. So it would be, oh, I'm on bypass. So now I'm on the deluxe. That is cleaner row. Bright one. That's very bright, oh. So in the middle, it's the darkest. Okay, I get it. And then what does T do? Tight, because there's definitely more bass, less in the middle. Even lesser row, row. Okay, cool. Oh, wow, that's the tweet. And that's blowing. Careful with the level here. Switches in the middle. That's a, that's a tweety sound. Careful with the levels here. Bright. And really blown up. Very neat. Okay, that's too loud now. These are nice. This is definitely a very cool, flexible module. Back to the AC. Which now sounds kind of like, hey, where's my sound? But that's 
size, I can definitely get a nice lead sound out of the T. Side, super clean out of the deluxe, slightly fizzly ones out of the AC. But before I go anywhere, I want to get my drums ready. And I don't want to use the Stephen Slate drums that I used in the other videos because they're way too BOW! So what I need to do is go to Walking Through Genetic Space where I actually prepared a um, BFD kit that, that I like to use. So now I'm going to have to go and make a preset out of that kit so I don't have to put it together every single time. And um, in Cubase, I, for the longest time, the way I always used to do it is open up the VST instrument, let's say BFD, make a MIDI track, and then you have all those outputs. I mean, I use BFD with um, kick in, kick out, uh, snare in, snare out, and all these individual, you know, 10, 15 tracks like you would on a real drum kit. What's happening over here? Um, but, obviously, that looks different. That is annoying to do every single time. Also putting on all the different uh, plugins every single time. So, um, does this look different? It looks as if the grid is more gritty. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to this track, which is actually an instrument track, not a MIDI track. It contains the instrument and all the channel information. So uh, you can see that, okay. So up here I got um, my main drum out, which in this case should be, let me see. Yeah, that's my main. Then we have room, M uh, oh no, that's overheads. And then room and ambient, three different room mics. We have cymbals, which are down because I only use the overheads for that. No one close mic cymbals. Uh, kick in, kick out, kick sub. Three different tracks for kick. Snare top, snare bottom. That says nodum, okay. Um, Hi-hat and ride, which then is going onto three different subgroups. A main drum group, which is actually running through the Oceanway plugin to give it amazing Oceanway room. And then something specific for kick, something specific for snare. So there we go. Uh, now I'm gonna go and hit the right click here and say, save that preset. Now I'm gonna call that Subtle Drums BFD3, because I have a lot of detail I can do on there. Now what I won't have, it won't save the groups. So I'm gonna go to the groups, all three tracks, and say, uh, save selected tracks. And we're gonna put them in, where did I put that in? Oh, we're gonna put them in, just on the main audio drive. Uh, drum group. GRPS, drum groups. Good, so now I can close that. I'm gonna call up the demo song preset that I think I did. Here, DSP, demo song project, go. Okay, we're gonna put that in demo song project. Wait. No. Yeah, we're gonna put that in here. That's fine. Um. A lot of tracks to load. So, what I can do now is kick away, get rid of uh, the Steven Slate drums. Add a new instrument track and load it. Um, BFD, subtle drums BFD3, go. So now that's loading that whole kit. So I'll make three groups stereo, call them drum. 
They're down here. I'm going to pull them up and put them right at the end of my drum kit so that they're there, but I don't like the color. I want them to be something I can clearly see. Let's make them very light, bright blue green. So that's drum group, GRP, kick. Universal Audio just came up with a distressor plugin. I really want to try that, but I don't have the new uh, software installed. But I really want to try that. So now there's nothing on those groups. I'm going to go ahead and load what I just saved. Drum groups. Bam. So on every drum group, oh, that's a lot smaller. Um, I have or actually on the on the on the kick and the snare I have the fatso which is compressing and warmifying and a limiter so that no matter how much I'm kicking it uh, I can limit it uh, so now I have to assign the groups so we have those and hi-hat and right I'm gonna do quick link and assign them all to my drum group my kicks, quick link, will go to my kick group, and my snares will go to my snare group. Hypothetically, I'm done now. Hypothetically, this is my track. Uh, oh, I have to change that to measures. There we go. Uh, measures uh, okay let's see if it works whoa why is this dark I don't like that at all uh. okay things have changed I mean, hey, it works, but why is that? I don't, I don't like that. I'll be back. Okay, that was a uh, DPD or something who brought new chapsticks. Yes, I know, Christmassy chapsticks. Anyway. Seriously, I found where, um, where I can make my editor bright again because I can't edit on a dark editor. Um, and that, let me see. Yep, that's correct. Good, so now I have. That is neat. Just testing. Obviously, I want that to be 100. Maybe I want it to be 85. So before, that's what it's like to be, you know, to do what I do. Uh, sometimes before you actually work on a track, you gotta get these stupid drums happening. Of course, people ask me, why don't you just use prefabricated loops? Uh, I know GarageBand has many, many programs has them. I think BFD has them. If I go into BFD, I can go, let me see where that is. Groove editor, right here. Uh, no groove selected. I can, I don't even know where they are because I don't use them. Oh, here. Right there. I don't know. Can you even play that? How does it work?
whatever. I play something and I need whatever I play to be tailored, what the drums do tailored to what my guitar is doing. I'm an arranger, I don't want to use something prefabricated. You can totally do that, but it's, it's, you either have to tailor the guitar to what the program gives you, or be okay with that just being a very good metronome and you play on top of that. I like to actually arrange my drums. So, uh, how do I get out of here? Let's see. So is that tempo good? Or should it even be slower with more space? Let's see. I just don't know what I'm doing. It's a G to G major 7. I actually think I want to be on the... Where is it? I can't see. What do I... Bypass? Here we go. I want to be on the deluxe. That's cool, and here. So that's a major seven thing. G major seven and D minor. Which of course doesn't work because there's no key that that actually fits into, but maybe we'll do it anyway. C minor because we have and then why not to find out is to actually record it and see what in the world am I doing.
So let's see if we can put some bass notes under that. Uh, something fatter. Yeah. That's the T side of that T Deluxe. Big, big, big question. Can I actually come up with a melody over that? Weird stuff. It's very likely that this is a stupid idea, just to let you know. messed up but yeah uh, there is a way to actually come up with a melody that works I'm still not sure whether the D minor and the C minor are Aeolian or Dorian not quite sure but I'll figure it out it's definitely a and then Well, let, me, let me see that again. Almost certain that's not a horrible idea. So, um, good. So, hey, we have, let's do, let's go different uh, direction. Usually I put in the chords later, but I'm actually gonna put in the chords so I know what in the world is happening here. Uh, that's a G major seven. Have a D minor seven nine. Interestingly enough, we have a C minor seven eleven nine. This is so unlike me. This is so weird. Uh, and we'll have an A major seven nine. Oh, oh it's it's 
Is it food? I'm out. Uh, uh, what? Wait, wait. Four. That's right. That's right. So it'll sound like this. And it would be very cool if we we're showing delays. Uh, just have the root note be the bass, no other guitar, and no melody on top of that. So all you're getting is those clean chords and you're really getting to hear the delay. I think that's cool. So... And we're gonna cut this here, we're gonna cut this here. I'm gonna use this as a... I mean, obviously I'm not gonna use those guitars. But, now I kind of know where I'm going, we're gonna have this be intro color. And we're gonna have it verse color as well, because we're gonna call that the verse. Why well, change it up? So, what I need now is... Where are my toms? Huh? Ah, here. Oh. Uh. Um. Good. We need a subtle symbol. The cool thing is with BFD, I can't do subtlety. Because I have a splash, for example. I'm gonna do it again. Just because, why not? We're gonna emphasize that rhythm. Subtly, hopefully. I'll just have to remember to play that again. Go away, go, okay, go, why aren't you? Thank you, I want to not have you here. Why are you, what are you? Go away. That's a little bit much. Let's see if we can get that rhythm in there somehow. Triplets, sixteenth triplets. A little bit slow for that. If we make those softer, then maybe.
Now we might actually have to make those 30 seconds. That's better, that's what I want. We're gonna go straight into a chorus. Cause uh, we've already wasted a lot of time here. Oh, saving it would be a good idea. Uh, delay track one, that's clever. We are already at minute 20. Since we're on A major 7, I mean, nothing that I've done here makes any sense harmonically anyway, but if I'm on an A major 7, it would make sense if that was the 4, because I'm playing it as Lydian. Then I go to an E. Really? Really? Let's not let that go anywhere. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh. Remember that. That's a, yeah. That's um um um. How do I? What do I? Uh. Okay. Uh. I can remember that. Come on. I'm not stupid. Um. He said remembering it. Uh. Forgetting it. Um. So we're gonna do E major seven right here. Okay, good. And then we'll do C sharp minor seven eleven. No, that's wrong. A major seven, E major seven, C sharp minor something eleven. We'll do all of these in chorus colors. Um, E minor A, just C sharp minor, and here we do, uh, we need to go to eighth notes, and here we do B. With a nine, why not? So here's what I'm going to do before I play the bass, because right now I'm excited and I want the bass 
to actually be there without me having to play it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to call up contact here and see if I got anything on there. Oh, that's where the piano is. Okay, so I can't do that. Go away, contact. And you, you gotta remember that thing. Um, what's in reactor? Oh, we really don't need that. So go away and you're gonna be a contact. Oh, they made that font fatter. That's nice. Oh, wait. Where did I just put that track? Here. Why are you here? I'm gonna put that next to the base. Give it a base color. Con base. Good. Um, we're gonna put a pre-base on there. Precision base. Amped. Fat. Beautiful. Good enough for now. So, I'm just gonna put eighth notes on there. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, kind of like. Kind of like, hey, kind of like that. Um, Beautiful, and I'm gonna put that under my whole track here. Good. Now I'm gonna go to that track, look in my inspector on the left, and go to hmm, chords. Now I'm gonna say follow my chord track. Ah, I want single voice, and I want bass. So let's see. There's an eighth note bass. The cool thing is I could actually just now copy that over here. And I copy that a couple times and wherever I copy it, it's just gonna take the root note from my chord track. Is it an amazing bass? No, it's not. But it's a great placeholder, or a bass holder, uh, um, until I actually have what I really need. Now, of course, I forgot the melody. I want it. But here we go. So I'll... Write a drum track now. Something like that. Um, it should be easy to find something. That, that's probably it. Um, simple now. Simple. Let's do half time and just really give it space. Okay, no right here then. That's not super horrible. Let's get the eighth notes on the right quieter. You want to see what I'm doing? Don't know if that does anything. Eighth notes quieter. I like that. So now, of course, we need to give this big symbol. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, 
And why not? We make that open higher, that's better. Oh, that's stupid. Um, and we need one here. Probably we might have to do that twice. Not sure. It's a little bit long already. And that's what you said. So let's record the guitars for that. Of course, big delay. And am I? I'm on the right one, yeah? Some modulation on it. Don't remember if I remember it, but here we go. I kind of have a feeling I want it twice. I'm just going to do that twice because it's just too pretty. And then it's going to the B. Technically, in the end, we should go to a D because we're going back to a G, so that's really not going to work, but uh, we'll make it work. So let's see if I have this twice, repeat, if I can come up with a melody.
That doesn't really suck. That tone, war horn in front of that amp. Whoa, holy. But now I need to set three, I need and go down an octave. It's too loud, too much gain. Volume down. Well, what if I just push the amp? that because that makes me very happy. to return to the G in the weird verse. Um, but I'm gonna go with that's fun. Yeah, I'm gonna have to throw a weird D at the end. I'm gonna see if I can make that work. But first, I go P. So I added, um, uh, hi by the way, uh, I added a D at the end, which without, oh, where, is it? where am I? Uh, w without the melody, totally works. Going back into the verse, which is again, it's a little bit weird, but. And 
melodically, I just added a uh, demixel run, which would make sense, and it's not horrible. <laughs> So now doing that verse twice, I don't think makes sense. So I'm gonna have to do something weird form-wise, which is gonna do, which is gonna be verse, 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 long chorus, verse, and then bridge already because we're already at two thirty. So what I'm gonna do is have a weird song form. Um, I'm going to do, this is purely out of, I think it works, feel-wise, uh, what am I doing here? Okay, I'm going to do C-sharp minor 11, why not? Ding, 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 ding. Um, and then... A major 7 9 but with C sharp in the bass. Uh, I've got to check this. Um, where am I? I'm in the, on the wrong channel here. Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, okay, and then we're gonna do B minor here. B with a uh, C sharp in the bass. And that's my bridge. Or solo. Let's call it solo. Why not? I can do whatever I want. Shut up. I can put a solo right after the second verse. I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to play guitar without the drums. And I'm going to have this three times. Because I want to. This is a weird song already. Kind of have to also play it in time. Of course, on the very last one, I gotta do just B, or just actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do B sus four, cause that's. Let's add one measure and go to B. Because why not? It's gonna be one measure longer because I want to.
So now, of course, we're going to add our base here, which is all going to be, well, C sharp. Um, here we go. Of course, I didn't do the 11, I did just uh, C sharp minor, so I'm going to do. Ah. <laughs> Let's see if I can do that. And now drums. Um, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Hey, hey, hey. Me, see me, 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 Added a cool reverb to them. Isn't it nice? It's an AMS something reverb. It looks like so. I love that for the snare. It's so freaking 80s. Where is it? Here. It's this thing. And I'm on snare classic. Of course, that reverb needs it. Orange. We'll make it orange. Big. Um. So. <laughs> Nice, that's exactly what I wanted. Google. Yep, if that's not 80s, I don't know what else. That's beautiful. So. Yeah, I need to change the guitars to go on gang. That's good. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Let's see. That's not really horrible. Now we need to move them a bit. Move them a bit. Put a little bit of swing in there, but just the tiniest bit. Put a splash on there.
splash. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We have the toms going. That's awesome, wait. Why is it moving over here? I just want to get out of here. I, I want to get out of here. Apparently you hit escape. That's weird. That is awesome. Wait. No, you don't hit escape. Dude, I, I, I can't explain what I'm doing, I'm just hearing it. Wonderful bar. Okay, that uh, last one sounds horrible. I'm working on it, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm there. And we'll swing it a bit. Oh. We'll mute that melody and see if I can actually still remember it. So technically here's our solo section. If I remember what in the world I did. Uh, we're going to this one. It's a little bit much on the delay there. Very sucky in the end there. We'll do that again, something with a...
have to get the uh what's that um oh yeah I'm missing one note there. Technically, that's it. So technically, that's that's the song. Uh, just uh, I need real bass. Well, actually, we are at we're at three fifty. It's it's a little bit long, but um, we only have two choruses. It's weird. Can't end on G. Why not? I just have to find the right note at the end. Why don't you close, you stupid window? We're just gonna end it there. I mean, there's just... That's another way of doing it. Could be worse. Okay, so if I turn the leads off, what do I have and what can I do with this? I'm just gonna noodle over it and see if I can do a take that doesn't completely suck.
Um, just see if I actually have a song here. And then I gotta go. Definitely weird. I'll have to melodically tie in the weird ass verse, which of course I could change, but I don't want to, um, to the very melodic chorus. But I think that's a melodic thing. I think everything else is there. And um, let's do some bass. I have a rough outline. Let's do some bass. So, a track like this. Need some fretless love, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna love it fretlessly with this Magnus Guitars six string, which is a bitch to play because no fret markers anywhere. Not on the side, not on the fretboard, and it's a freaking skateboard. And I really don't have the best ears. So we're going to see what I can do. And 
gonna get some level here. Why is that fretboard sandwiched? We don't know. Okay, um... Oh, we have a deluxe on here. We don't want that. We actually want nothing. So...
be nice if I could actually do that. That's a nine, but that would also be nice. C sharp is not there. I'm going to high. Yeah, that should have been a D, but okay. to the uh, but it's also wow um it's kind of nice but i shouldn't it's too yeah i have to go down to the b there Can't count! And I didn't hit that E right. So nice to do it, but I just have to play the right note. Wow! 
おおHello, people. So I just came home from several hours of uh, shopping and eating, hanging out with Leslie, and um, tried to play the song again, and it was all exactly still there. So that means it works. You know, if you can remember it hours later, we're all good. Now, it's just a matter of putting some strats out here and uh, recording the whole thing as a track for video. So thanks for hanging out. Um, it was a blast. I think we have a really cool song that can absolutely show what delays and clean sounds can do. Animals at the end. See you on the flippity flop. Bye guys.
I have 